What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I'm going to show you a review of Link Static. Stay tuned. So I am finally done with the last character of the Commando Elite from Small Soldiers. Finally! Completely done. Well, not completely done because I still have to uh, work some stuff out, but I'll talk that. I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, guys. I apologize. It's just that uh, I did go back to school and um, I'm trying to be a toy designer or uh, animate an animator. So hopefully, you guys will see my toys pretty soon on store shelves, which would be, be freaking awesome. If I could get a job with NECA, NECA, if you guys are watching, if you guys have an opening, I would like to apply to your company. Um, I do have a lot of videos to show you the stuff that I've done. Anyways, <laughs> I don't think NECA's watching any of this stuff, but anyways, um, let's talk about the character. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to use the character I originally wanted to use, which was Nick Nitro. I wanted to use this guy to create this guy, which would have been a lot easier because uh, if you guys look at the actual character from the movie, Link Static has the exact same pants, the exact same boots, it's just that they're all black. Um, this would have been easy to remove. This would have been a little bit hard to do, but I could have done it. Uh, the face would have been a lot better because uh, he has a big chin and he has a big chin. So uh, all I had to do was shave this off and then make his helmet. Would have been a lot easier to work with this guy than uh, to work with this guy. Uh, this dude used to be this guy, and I made him into this guy, obviously. Now, uh, there is some differences, if you guys could tell. Uh, this arm goes straight, and then this arm goes like this, and it curves. Uh, so I did change that up, if you guys could tell there on the side, on the top view. You guys could see that that's a little bit different. Um, I did do some changes and I will make a video. Uh, I will upload a video on how I made this guy uh, So stay tuned for that if you guys aren't subscribed make sure you guys subscribe and get put put the little put, uh, Notifications and when you do the little notifications make sure you guys hit all because if you guys don't hit all you guys don't get notified at all So there's no point to it So if you guys do do the bell thing you guys subscribe to the little bell hit all on the little bell that, guys, that way you guys get notified as soon as I make another video. Anyways, look at it. let's get right into the review. There is some changes that I am going to make to this guy. Um, the helmet, I am going to put more um, uh, more detail into it. I did make it as good as I could at the time that I had. Like I said, I've been really busy at school, so I, haven't had, I didn't have that much time to fix this guy up as well as I want him to be. Um, I do have to remove this and then make a little pocket like this guy has a pocket there. He has a pocket as well. Um, but uh, all this is good and all this is good. You guys could see I carved out the little hand here uh, to make it look like an actual arm instead of it looking like this. Yeah, this focuses. You guys could see little wrinkles on his arm, on his uh, sleeves and stuff like that. I took all those wrinkles out. Removed it, made it smooth, and made it look like an actual arm, his bicep or whatnot. And then the same thing on this side. And then in the back as well, you guys could see if this camera focuses on it. You guys could see I've made a little dent there so it could look like an actual arm. And then so it could make it look like it's sleeveless. Uh, as far as the pants go, there's the color of the pants, shirt, there's the back of him. Um, as well as the boots, I had to cut off the, the tip of the boot to make them look like this boot. And so that's what I did. Um, as far as the face goes, I really like the way the face came out. I really like the face sculpt. Uh, the, only diff the only problem is the little blemishes here and there. But this, I could really just fix it in with some epoxy. Just fill that in and he'll be good as new. But as far as the face goes, I really think that he looks like him. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will straighten this out. You know how it looks kind of roundish here, like almost ovalish, but an oval shape to it. I don't know where the camera's picking me up, but it looks kind of like an oval. I'm gonna make it a lot straighter to make it look a rectangle, like a rectangle, and then smoothing this stuff out. Put more details into this, put more details into this, smoothing the head out a little bit more. Um, so yeah. And then put the little logo on this thing too. 
But other than that, I think he came out pretty well. As far as articulation, of course, it's all the same as all the other characters. Um, I do want to start putting articulation on these guys, cut off the arm and put a little uh, joint on here so you could actually move his arms. But that won't be until super, super, super far time in the future. As far as the Kame House, there is a video coming up on the Kame House. As you guys can see, there's a Kame House. Man, my thing squeaks so bad. There's a Kame House. So yeah, there's a video coming up for that as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll show you guys how I built it. And then I'll show you guys all the little details onto it. So anyway, back to this guy. So there he is lined up with the rest of his of his posse. Uh, that's the last dude I needed for the commando elite. So the commando elite is completely done. I will do no more commando elites because it took forever to do them. And then uh, the Gorgonites are up next. I'm just going to repaint them. There is a little differences between the Gorgonites with the movie. So I might do a little difference here and there, but I will paint them and I'll show you guys how I paint them and stuff like that. Cause you guys want to see how I do these things. So I know a lot of you guys want to see how I did them. So I will make the videos for you guys. Um, I'll stay up late at night if I have to and make videos for you guys. Anyways, uh, last thing I want to say, uh, Edward Littleton, I haven't forgot your stuff. I'm still working on it, dude. Just It's just like I said, I've been really, really busy. Um, I will let you know as soon as I send it to you. I don't want to tell you what it is because I want it to be a surprise. And um, I want you to open it in front of your camera um, so you guys, so you could do a review of it on your camera or an unboxing. Uh, on your channel and let me know and I want to see your reaction to whatever I sent you I don't want to give you any hints but I really think you'll like it um, it does take a lot of work dude and like I said I like to be really picky with all my stuff I have to make sure that everything's exactly the way I want it or else there's no point in sending it to you I don't want to send you junk I want to send you something really good so it takes time to make something good Rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. So Edward Littleton, like I said, it, it, it it's coming, dude. It's coming. It's coming. Have some patience. Uh, I am really, really busy, dude. And I do have kids and I am going to school and I have work and I have all kinds of stuff to do. So Edward Littleton, just just bear with me, dude. I, I will send it to you. Anyways, um, other than that, I think we're done here. Commando Elite completely done i hope you guys enjoyed this little episode if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace